Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. We're going to Witcher World. I am your host, Tales Power Rolls. Is back in the last episode, we got a little bit started in Pterodactyland. We got started a little bit, you know, didn't make a whole bunch of progress. Mainly just got a bunch of notes and then a couple of jiggies. By a couple of jiggies, I mean a jiggy from a Jinjo. A jiggy that I don't even think counts as a as a Pterodactyland jiggy. And then. Uh, the Pterodactyland, the uh, Stompanodon, get across the Banjo Kazooie switch one. Yeah. Now we do. Luckily, we do not need to go and pick up the dinosaur that is over at the the Cave of Horrors. She will just run here herself. So that's nice. And I don't think many people do this. If they do, I don't really see much of it, but. As you can see, clearly see, we're going to have two dinosaurs in the back of the train. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Alrighty. Hello, witchy world. It's been a little bit. We must go get Lardo McFatbuck and take him to mom. Uh, he's in the inferno, isn't he? I think so. Ow! I forget that can hurt you. Huh. Wait, shit, I don't even have burgers yet. What am I doing, dude? I gotta get a burger and then take it to him. I'm gonna get one of them nasty sneezed on burgers. Big Al specialty. Ugh. Let's see. Whoa, did you see that thing? Man, I'm telling you, those things have too advanced AI. Give me a freaking burger. Give me a burger. Give me one of your nasty burgers. Give me a burger. Jeez, I don't know why the game was not registering me talking to that guy. Achoo! Whoo, man. They are accuratest with those freaking coins, dude. Outside Mumbo Skull. Taking advantage of the warp points. <laughs> Let's see, uh, the fat kid was here, right? Because if not, I actually don't remember where he is. Okay, yeah, he's here. I almost did not make that jump. That counted as me standing on the pet. Okay. You're the boss game. Hello there. Are you groggy, soggy, or moggy? I don't even know. And actually, uh, during this dialogue, Banjo is always like, you really shouldn't, you know, be having that. But as you can see, because, like, you could just tell. And as you can see, we pick up a really fat bear in our backpack. Why did I do that? <laughs> I need to warp. I need to warp. Alright, time to take him back to mom. And then we'll get the Jiggy. And then Witchy World will be officially 100%ed. But we'll have to come back here one more time. Hey, Lamal. Here's your kid. He's very fat. Smack, 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 smack. Oh, look at this. He's, he, he's fine enough to be able to get up and run off. <laughs> yeah, he better have dinner in the oven. Ugh. Stop with the... Uh, no. 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 Ooh. But guys, it's official. 100% witchy world. Let's look at this. Boom. Look at that. It's beautiful. Actually, I've longed it. Wow, are you kidding me? All these worlds have been less than an hour so far. Jolly Roger's Lagoon did not take me as long as witchy world did. Wow. Wow. Music? 
I wonder if that's where it's if you pause or do something while you're picking up a jiggy. Hmm. Dude. Dude. Music. Come on, man. This is so weird. This is so weird. For some reason, I thought I had Kazooie in my backpack there. Actually, no, just leaving through the door here is a quicker way to get to the uh, train station. Here's the music, dude. Please tell me if I go like back to Pterodactyl and the music's gonna come back. Because this is freaking me out a little bit, dude. Like, honesty? Uh, uh, honesty. Honestly, I'm a little freaked out. I'm not used to hearing the game without music. <laughs> this is the wrong entrance. Great. Time being wasted because I'm stupid. This one is the way to the train station. I'm still legitimately kind of freaked out without the music. What the hell? Oh, well, actually, no, we can't go to Pterodactyl Land just yet. We actually have to make a stop at the cliff top. Which is the Isle of Hags train. Is this not bizarre to anybody else not hearing the game music? I guess you ever wanted to hear what things sounded like without the music. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. Please tell me this is going to fix it. Nope. Probably what's gonna have to end up happening is I have to probably reset the damn game. Which I don't wanna do. So I guess we'll just have to do without the background music for the rest of this video. I'll have it fixed by next, I promise. Oh, no, there it is. Oh. I never thought I'd be so happy to hear the Isle of Hags theme. Like, I love me some Isle of Hags theme, but... Man, I never thought I'd be more happy to hear it. It's like... It's, it's a little thing in life. And also, since I'm probably going to be recording pretty much all of Pterodactyl Land within the next day or so, um, I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas, and a Happy Holidays, and all that good stuff. Because I'm recording this... December the 21st, you know, that's only three days away, four, well, four, technically, if you actually count today, but three days away. <laughs> Alright, so we need Mumbo. Mumbo even has something to do in the overworld. It's kind of cool. It's only one thing to do, but it's still cool nonetheless. When I was a kid, I could never figure this out. Heal, the sixth Styracosaurus. Yes, when I was a kid, I didn't know that you had to bring, put a dinosaur in this thing, and then, you know, Mumbo would do his thing. It's really quite amazing. <laughs> and there you go. Dinosaur's feeling all better. We've done a good thing here today. Umanakas. Alright. I can't recall, have I died in this series yet? If not, I'm gonna I can if ow. If not, I could totally go for a deathless run. That's something that like I always go for, but then like something knocks me off a cliff and ruins it. It's like oh jerk. Alright, there we go. It's finally time to go back into Pterodactyl Land. It's it's so bizarre. I just sent just because it fits in so well with everything we needed to do for Pterodactyl Land anyway. We just pretty much did everything I would need to backtrack for later, except for one thing, which is in Charlie Rogers' Lagoon. But I'll worry about that when I'll worry about that later. For now, back to Pterodactyl Land. 
And we're going to see two cutscenes. Well, actually, this cutscene, the cutscene of it stopping. Two separate cutscenes. Yeah, like, there's gonna be like four cutscenes coming up, just the way I do this. Like, the way I handle this whole uh, dinosaur dilemma thing. Like, it may not be the most, I guess, efficient way of doing it, but it works pretty damn well, I have to personally say. Woo, woo. Now that I'm thinking about it, there's only two more mandatory Chuffy rides in the game. Hmm. That just proves, like, how cool it is to have all the worlds combined and stuff with Chuffy, but Chuffy doesn't play a major role. Chuffy doesn't really save you much time. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, yeah, she was gonna say, should we clean out our den for weeks? And now, here comes the one that was sick. Rawr, I feel really healthy now. Yeah, you're gonna run all the way home. Note, the Minjo is red here. Like, I believe it is actually possible for that Minjo to change color by the time these running these running things happen. Stracosaurus. Is it Stracosaurus? Is that what these things are? Stracosaurus? I don't know. I'm, I'm not a dinosaur expert. I have a friend, a couple friends who pretty much are, though. Like, good lord. You can fucking show them a picture of, like, a prehistoric fish and they can tell you what kind of dinosaur that shit is. You may think I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> Alright, back to the Pterodactyl land grind. Let's see, what do I want? Oh, yep, see, change color. It was red, now it's brown. Let's see, what do I want to do next? I know, I'll go get the last rock nut. And then we're going to do a humble wumpa transformation. That sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, yeah, that's an unga, uh, that's an unga bunga. That was, like, blocking the entrance there. We'll worry about him in another time. Oh, while I'm thinking of it, let's go ahead and grab this. Because we're going to need this. Obviously. All right, you stupid pterodactyl. I'm back. I'm back. And I'm better than ever. Got a knack for making things better. The face of facts. Cause your opinion don't matter. Sorry. <laughs> and kaboom! Now we have to send another one in there to actually go get the Jiggy. <laughs> this is usually when I don't get last. I usually get the one at the train station last, but, you know, due to getting knocked off, kind of made me change up my route a little bit. Now, the smart way to get down would be to simply take a path. I'm doing the stupid way because the stupid way is fun. Besides, as you can see, down with no issues. Okay. And actually, guys... Uh, actually, let me think about it. Nah, I can at least do this. I was going to say this would be a good spot to leave off, but we'll, we'll do this. Yes. Skip the text. Skip the text. Hmm, we are in a prehistoric world. I wonder what the transformation is going to be. We get to be a little teeny tiny baby T-Rex. Isn't he adorable? Right now all we can do is walk around really awkward looking and jump. But we're going to talk to... Uh, where are you? One of these guys. And he will teach us how to roar. So now we know how to roar. That's going to come in handy. Okay. First thing to note, baby T-Rex takes damage. Another thing to note, see these doors? Roar at them. They get you places you need to be.
Alright, that takes care of that. I don't remember where's this door take me. Probably somewhere really close, and I could have simply just taken the door instead of doing that long walk, but. Yep. Alright. Uh, baby T-Rex is literally needed for one other thing. You need to, you need him to learn how to roar. That's a mandatory thing. You cannot avoid doing that. You need to do this if you want to learn how to roar, which is necessary for something you gotta do. Go through here. Let's back remember this. Short. Short. Long. Short. Long. Long. Ha ha! Nice! I don't need no sign that it's actually, I walked past it telling me how to open that. I got muscle memory, buddy! Bada boom! Bada bing! <laughs> Alright, um, that's all the use for baby T Rex. And Kersploosh. Oh my god. And that, guys, is going to be all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the next episode, it's time to do some stuff with Mumbo. So, yeah, you guys, then, goodbye. I'll probably meet you as Mumbo.